What's up? Got two son. It's in this box. Let's spin it around. And then we're going to get it out of here and we're going to check it in and check it out. Okay, so this one, hold on. This one is this one. This is a TS, um, it's a night morning design, a TS-69 in D2 steel. No pocket clip, which is kind of odd. So why do I have two of these? Well, this one right here. I got this one in, and I went to check it in, and did a whole nother video on it, and um, I smoothed the edges of these scales off, because the edges of these scales are super sharp, so I smoothed all this off, made the knife nice, all that kind of stuff, but the reason I did all that was because I could not get in this knife. And so much so that I stripped out this screw. So the knife is 100% locked up and no blade play, nothing going on here. And the action's decent. Um, the knife is razor sharp and it's comfortable in hand now, but I could not get in here and now that pivot's stripped. So this knife, this knife for all intents and purposes, this knife ain't coming apart. Now, could that be drilled out and get another, a new pivot screw? Yeah, I mean, but it's a, it's actually a $27 knife. So I bought both of these when the Tucson's were on sale at White Mountain Knives. And so I got them very reasonable, about 27 bucks, and I bought two of them. I bought one for the channel, and I was going to keep one. I was going to do one as a giveaway. Well, so when I encountered this one, I did all that, and to be honest, I'd had enough with it, and so I quit. <laughs> I was just like, oh, man. Um, but now this one's here, and I snatched a Tucson box off my bench to check it in, and it's, a, it's that knife. So the interesting thing is going to be, yeah, is, can I get in this one? Is it going to let me in? So, let's check that right now. I mean, this is exactly what the other one did. So, it's not captured, and it's spinning. And I think that they used Loctite on these threads, and there's no way in. So, I'm going to try just a little bit to see if I can get in there. Put a little pressure on that blade. Yeah, I can't get in this one either. So I'm not going to destroy this one. Because I destroyed the threads on that one. Um, but I, I'll run the video on this one. We'll check it in. We're not going to check it in. We're going to check it out. Because I can't get in the knife. And this is going to be the next giveaway. So we'll announce it here in this video. And I'll get a secret word and the whole thing. And <laughs> we'll, I'll give that one to y'all. I'm going to keep this one. And uh, I keep the one that doesn't have the script screw. But I can't get in it anyways. So you get, you're get you going to get one that's got a strip screw. But it doesn't matter because you can't get in it. But I will say that I knocked down the edges on this one. So it's much more comfortable in the hand. It's actually kind of comfortable to hold this knife. The action's not bad. Just a couple of shakes. The blade centered. You know. So I'll leave that one here. That's the giveaway. Um, this one here. I'm going to actually. I'll show you what I did to knock those edges down. And then you can see it in this video. But. I mean. It's not uncomfortable. It's just the edges are not finished. Like they milled them. And then they quit. And so, here's all I did to knock these edges down. I got my little round diamond file, and I just went around those edges with my diamond file. Just like so. And it creates, you know, that, that like a white edge, a white powder all over it. But when I wipe that, just with the oils on my fingers, that's going to go away. This pointy part right here, 
it was this was pretty sharp kind of pointy so I roughed it off got that corner part off of there yeah I mean it doesn't take much just a little bit of a little bit of file work that g tens no match for this diamond file that's for sure I mean that other one I mean I wish I I should have saved that video because it it would have been fun just to watch man because it it beat me man and you know how you know how I stripped it out I literally I mean you may laugh at this man I don't know I was I was so defeated by the thing that I didn't even care anymore so I put a brand new bit a T8 in my Milwaukee impact <laughs> hoping that that would break it free and it spun it several times and then it just stripped out the, the uh, pivot just stripped it out so yeah I mean I had resolved like I'm either going to ruin the knife or I'm going to get in this thing I had made the decision one way or another uh, one of those outcomes was coming and uh, as we now know collectively we're all in the same game when it comes to this the knife one so maybe the magic word for the giveaway should be defeated <laughs> yeah right because I mean that's that's a loss man when I had to strip the screw out I still couldn't get in it yeah so that's all I did to that one and now this thing's comfortable in hand and so is this one yeah and so the one I'm going to give away let's do this let's take a look at how sharp it is is it sharp or isn't it yeah I mean come on this thin, thin magazine paper. This thing's crazy sharp. And just the weight of the knife. Whoop. Yeah. Ridiculous sharp. So. Come on. Let me check this one. Yep. And... Yeah, yeah, it's good to go. I dig it. So these blades have that double grind, both flat grinds. It's got a flat grind up here on the front of that Tanto and then a flat grind back here. It's got this nice little fuller that, I mean, you can, you can get in and it's sharp. It's just the detent's too strong. I can get it with my thumb. But I mean, that's ultimately, that's why I wanted in that knife was to fix that detent when I first got it. Yeah, I wonder if I can get this one. Ooh, almost on the spidey flick. Definitely on the thumb flick. Mm hmm So, a ton of contouring on these scales. These scales, these G10 scales are thick and contoured. The knife's not overly heavy. It's got some weight to it. It's got decent jimping on the flipper tab. And uh, I don't know if I can fail that with that detent because it's got a detent. Yeah, it'll fail. Um, you know, one of the things I didn't do with this knife, I didn't oil the bearings. And so I'm going to do that. I mean, I can't get in it, but I can still oil. It's got internal stop pins in it too. Look at that. Find my best shot at getting the oil to it. Looks like it's going to be right there. And a drop, and a drop, and a drop, and a drop. I mean, this is an old model. The bags are old. The boxes are old. I mean, it's very possible that there's no oil in this knife. There was a little bit on the outside, not much. But there might not be any oil on those bearings. 
Yeah, so I mean the action isn't horrible on here. It is cutaway for access to, I believe, that fuller, but also the lock bar. It's cut away so you can get to the lock bar, but the detent is pretty stiff on this. So you're kind of digging to get to it. Yeah, I'm going to oil this one too. Get it right there. I mean, it's definitely an older model. It's not a bad model. I'm going to oil that detent ball too. Anything I can do to help that action because I don't think I'm getting in here. I've resolved to the fact that I'm not going to. Okay. Let me get the detent ball on this one. So, yeah. So let's make the word defeated. And uh, I'll put something, obviously, in the description. I'm going to put that it's a TS-69 and that we're going to check it out. And... that we're gonna we're gonna do a giveaway on it i'm gonna mention it in the description but you're watching it so the only way to get the the word defeated um make sure you, man i'd hate to have somebody do that and then not spell defeated right and then they don't get entered so um let's do loss l-o-s-s -S, not defeated loss so somewhere in your comment, you know, go ahead and comment and then say something about loss. I don't care what you say about loss. Not lost, but loss. L-O-S-S. -S. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? Uh, nah, loss. It's lost. Let's quit changing it. It's not that complicated, man. I'm going to give this knife away to somebody that comments with the word loss in their comment. So make sure you do that. TS-69, D2 steel, night morning design. I mean, definitely an old model. I did knock those scales down. It's pretty comfy in hand. That's a confident grip. I mean, I'm locked in there. It's, I'm not, it's not very confident, but it's definitely a confident grip. And uh, pokey tip, man. It's very pokey. Yeah, I dig it. So... Yeah, make sure you comment below, use the word loss, and uh, I'll be giving this knife away. Uh, I'll probably read it, you know, like before. I'll let it run a few days, and then we'll give that away. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching, and good luck. I hope you win it. I mean, obviously, I'm saying I hope you win it. I, I'm saying that to everybody that's watching, but anyways, good luck to the person that does win it. Um, yeah, all right, you guys. Let me uh, wipe the fingerprint off it. Appreciate you watching.